Welcome to Little Work with Crafts. My name is Davina and I live in the southeast coast of the UK. Today is Monday the 21st of September 2020 and this is episode 32. Well as you can hear yet again I have another one of my well colds but this time I am actually on antibiotics. I have um, my sinuses have all uh, flared so I had a word with the doctor on the telephone and they've given me antibiotics so get there slowly get there slowly <laughs> um I have um this week well I went into work last Thursday yeah last Thursday and this had um, started that morning so um I worked until lunchtime they brought me up in the, the this classroom area to do bits up there and uh, then I came home because it's just with everything going on, it's just not worth the, um, the you know, the risk because of what people think, you know, you're sounding like you're talking through an antennae and, um, you know, they think the worst, don't they? <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've, I've stayed home. I think that's the wise thing to do. <laughs> so, OK. Uh, so apart from that, I've just been, I was poorly for the uh, Friday uh, Saturday, Sunday, uh, yesterday, I've, I've been a little bit more mobile and walking around a bit more, but as you can hear, I'm still not right, so there you go, anyway, it's enough about that, so I've been doing little bits and bobs, little crochet, uh, crafting as normal, and um, yeah, I've got quite a bit to talk about today, so I am going to jump right in, actually, I've got a couple of announcements at the beginning, now my lovely friend Caroline, she is on Instagram, let's just crochet. That's all one word. I'm going to put it down the bottom there for you. She's come up with this amazing idea. I just think it's brilliant. Is that we do an advent swap, but with fabric rather than, you know, and I know with a lot of us do it like, uh, you know, me and my friend, we've got a, a plan, me and my friend Alison, we're doing a yard swap of advent this year. But um, yeah, so this is absolutely a brilliant idea. So she has actually put up on her Instagram page. Now you want to go back to the original one, which I have just looked and it's on the 10th of September. So if you go onto her Instagram page and look, go back to the, the 10th of September and then you're going to see uh, obviously the, a picture of which has got on it advent scrap fabric swap now i'm going to insert a picture i've screenshot it and i'm going to insert a picture of it here okay so she has put two more since then but you do have to go back to the original page she is doing it internationally which is absolutely amazing so um carolyn is doing this uh, lovely hexagon scrap quilt uh the quilt top is growing absolutely brilliantly and as you all know i love all this scrap uh, stuff uh like with my scrap quilt on my bed i made years ago i just love all the look of it all now this advent fabric swap is going to be only craft cotton and uh quilt con same fabric just two different names okay some of us call them craft cotton some of us call them quilt cotton but they do they have to be that they can't be a poplin they can't be poly cotton or nothing like that they have to be a craft cotton because that's exactly what we use in our quilts basically but as i say read up on what she's booked because she's put there you know all the the rules and the you know not say rules all you know the sizing and everything else and she's going to pair us all up and there is a deadline. Oh, I should have written that down. I'll put that at the bottom of the screen, actually. There is a deadline for you to actually sign up for this so she could get everything, all the people's names, all organised and start pairing us all up. I just think it's a fantastic idea. It's going to be a lot of fun. So please hop over and obviously, you know, if you're a quilter, it's going to be great because, you know, we can, what we could do with our scraps is, is amazing. So, yeah, please give it a go. So, um, yeah, I'll say I'll put all the details on the screen for you. And, yeah, do it. <laughs> okay, so that's my first announcement. Right, okay. So, I think the other one I'm going to leave until, yeah, I'm going to leave that until near the end. Okay, so today we have 
cross stitch crochet and a little bit of knitting i've got no finished objects this week <laughs> but I, have, I have as i say been poorly but i've been working a lot on things to get finished if you know what i mean my breathing space by vera vacamali is um i've finished that bit on the bottom and yesterday i've actually started the rib um so i think it's an inch and a half roughly and i've done about an inch so i'm hoping i'm going to get that done either today or tomorrow and then get the sleeves done and then when i when i start on the sleeves i am actually going to show you so next week i'll bring it up and i will show you what uh you know what what the body looks like anyway at least then i could try it on <laughs> so fingers crossed it'll fit me um so right first of all then we were gonna uh we are gonna go into let's have a look right okay yeah we're gonna go into cro the new cross stitch now as you all know i'm doing the um patchwork crow by um heart, heart in hand i think it is i've left the pattern downstairs and yesterday i was doing a bit and i've managed to get the bird nearly finished i've just got to do his beak here and he's got some tail feathers coming up here and then he's got another crow on his back and then i'll end up doing the the patchwork bit in the middle now i did get asked a question now i can't remember if it was last week or the week before by somebody um that said that my bird look a lot bigger than the one on the actual pattern which it does the one on the pattern is actually done on a 16 count even weave linen one of them two and as you know i'm an ada person and i've done this on a 14 count so mine is going to be a little bit bigger that was quite <laughs> Oh, oh oh hi right i've just quickly popped in down here while i was editing i realized that when i was talking about my uh my patchwork crow cross stitch let's see if i can get this side it might be a bit better there you go try not to get my chins in you see <laughs> um <laughs> right that's better um i do actually use a cross stitch calculator app now i have just screenshot it so i'm going to pop in the one now what you do is you put in the width and the height of the actual stitch count on the pattern and then you put in the count of the fabric that you're using like for instance 14 count 16 or so on and then you put in like an extra that you want around the outside i normally go two two inches because i know I, i'm not going to frame it I, I normally do mine in a different way don't i so two inches up or one and a half inches is fine and then you press the um the calculator and then it goes into the uh, another page and it will tell you exactly how much you have to cut your fabric absolutely brilliant. it's free app absolutely brilliant so i'm gonna pop in the picture pop this in and then um yeah so you can actually see uh give it a go it's amazing okay right then see you later bye probably a bit bigger actually um, <laughs> and um yeah so you know to me it, i i prefer the 14 count it seems to be working okay i think if you've got no half uh, or fractionals as they call them um you know with most of them you can actually go up or down or play around with it anyway i think so um yeah so mine is going to be a bit bigger but i have i'm catered for that when i come to my finishing because i'm i'm hoping to use that um fence wooden thing that i brought a couple of weeks ago that i showed you but no i've really enjoyed this and uh, it is lovely to sit and do and i've got to get it finished because i want to do my christmas one you see oh dear me so yeah so i am um, yeah i am absolutely loving this and i have seen the new um oh primitive and punch needle uh the autumn one magazine is out in america so i keep looking on where i normally get my from which is the patchwork uh rabbit and uh, yeah, I keep looking because I've got to get that one. I've got to get the auto one, definitely. I can't wait. And uh, with the comes to the feedback on the floss tubes that I've watched over in America, they oh, it just it's just looking amazing. So I can't wait. I can't wait. So, <laughs> right, I have got a little bit of something else to talk about in um, with cross stitch cross stitch related, but it's um it's in the naughty and nice section, and I have got naughty and nice this week, which is good. Oh. 
where you can find me. Because <laughs> I always forget. It's down below. <laughs> okay, righty ho. Let's go into now. Oh, my crochet. Oh, I can't put this down. My blanket. I've finished the middle and I've started on the outside. Right, let's see if I could, because this is going to be a big, big blanket. I think as I go along, I'm going to have to start um, laying it down and taking a photograph um, of it on the floor because of the size and say the border has got to go on as yet. But let's go. Right, okay. So, as you see, I haven't quite finished the first row, but look, that is that, that colour for the border, which I'm using is Grist of the Highland Heather Stylecraft. Their new one, which is 100% acrylic, but it's got the look of, of wool. And it's so soft. But I absolutely... <laughs> See, my kid's still growing. Still growing. <laughs> And there's the end. So, once I get the the actual board around, because I have left some little bits of each colour, and I'm planning on doing, I think a bit four, because I've got three balls of this one, I think, and I'm planning on doing about three rounds of the, of the grist, and then I'm going to do a scrappy bit in the middle, and then finish off with the grist, and then do a for the final scrappy um, row around the outside, and that's going to be the end. But it's going to be a big blanket, it really is. So Glenn said to me the other day, he said, "What are we going to do with it?" I said, "I don't know." I said, "I know my Rebecca would love it for Christmas, but <laughs> we'll see." Because uh, I'd like to keep that one at all. <laughs> uh, I reckon by the time I've finished, I'll actually lay on the bed. <laughs> So, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. And I say that yarn is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, then. Right. So that is my crochet, my cross stitch. Now, I have been plodding along on the, uh, the other scrappy sock. And as you see, I have got the heel... I'm just doing the gusset. I, I, I just can't believe I'm actually still doing them on these. <laughs> oh, so excited. Right, okay. Um, yeah, so, and I'm thinking because um, my daughter, ever since she's been able to dress herself, she's always worn odd socks. It doesn't matter how, even if I pair them up, she'll take them out and wear odd socks. She's always done it. And she's still doing it now at 27. So last year I actually, because I always knit her a pair of, couple of pair of socks for Christmas and uh, last year I knitted her an odd pair of socks. So she just took them out and she went, and I'm thinking these are going to be the ones for this year as well. So I think I'm going to give her these as a, you know, stocking for Christmas. But um, yep, yeah, I've got my little ball here uh, left and I've got these two little bits here if I need them. And uh, yeah, I am... Um, really enjoying this really really enjoying these and then once i've finished um i think i might have because now i've actually done it'll be this whole pair as a vanilla and obviously one of debbie's for christmas as a vanilla on the dpns so i think my next one i might have a go at a pattern we'll see <laughs> see if i'm brave enough so, because there is, it's like, I love the, um, oh, what's it called? Is it, um, I know that uh, Cherry Hart, she's, she, her, my first sock pattern, that is a lovely one. I've done that loads of times. And there's the, um, the latte one, I've done that loads of times. And there's the prairie one, I've done that a couple of three times. So there is some, I've got some patterns that I can actually, um, you know, do, uh, they're simple patterns but i can actually i'll give them a go on the dpns <laughs> hopefully i won't just be able to do vanilla socks on <laughs> but we'll see we'll see and i've got that in my little autumn bag that i made so <laughs> it's just appropriate little autumn bag okay right then so now we have the naughties and the nicers Right, what we're going to do now is, I'm going to do the naughties first, I think, because I've got 
yeah because i've got some um explaining to do with the nicest sorry about the mustard so as i said last week uh, on thursday i left work at lunch at my lunch break and i just missed i just got round the corner and my bus pulled off and i thought oh i've got a couple of hours to wait now so i thought well what i'll do is i'll walk up onto the high street of where at the town i work and um pop into the works because i haven't been there for months pop into the <laughs> works and have a look and see what they've got i shouldn't have done that <laughs> <laughs> because I put this on my Instagram page and there has been some people that's actually gone and got it. Oh, as it reminds me, Alison, because um, you said in the message that your one didn't have it. If you let me know, if you haven't got it, I'll see if I could get it this end for you and then um, I could send it on uh, for you. So it is the second Lunar Lapping um, Friends. Look at that. £15.99 down to £5. So I've already got the first one. I got the first one for Christmas, I think. I think it was Christmas uh, for Maggie. But uh, yeah, the second one. I can't believe that. I thought, yes. So I had to get one of those. Definitely had to get one of those. Even though I've not made anything out of the first one yet. It's not the point. At that price, you have to get it, don't you? And also they had their Christmas stuff out for the decor, you know, for uh, crafty bits so and i thought oh i'm gonna be finishing my cross stitches and stuff and i've been after this which is what they they call it twine but i think it's what well, it's baker's twine isn't it in the red and white and there's two times 27 meters for two pound i couldn't believe that so i could put that round my cross stitches and oh it's gonna be brilliant absolutely brilliant so i am well i really wish i'd have got two of them though i really do and I got these, which is uh, craft foliage for a pound, which has got the acorns and the little um, bits of a tree. And then I got, look at this, I can't believe it, 15 pack of red and white bells, a pound. It's amazing. And then this is going to be brilliant. It's two metres pine garland a pound as i said you know i shouldn't have really gone in but when i, I had to pass it you see to go up to the uh, bus stop <laughs> so yeah yeah now why not i say right and also as i said to you last week i was waiting on some um ada covered into the post and i will say it really it actually did arrive was it that afternoon think like it normally does or the morning after i'm so glad i did order now this 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 is um claire brown cross stitch and i did say last week that there she was in edinburgh but she's not i think she's in glasgow anyway she's somewhere in scotland and she does the uh the printed aders and I tell you, there's a lovely little note on in there, you know, thank me, which I love it when people write that. I also got a free piece, <laughs> which is uh, very nice too. And what I actually ordered, I did order something like this one. I got for my my reindeer heart, in, you know, the the reindeer uh, patchwork reindeer pattern, and I thought that's really nice. That's going to look really smart on there. And then for the sheep one, the patchwork sheep, I got this. I just thought that was so pretty with all the leaves all printed on. Now, even though they have, pat, uh, you know, print on them, they're still easy to stitch on. It's not distracting at all. This one I got just because. <laughs> I like the colours. I haven't got anything planned for this one. I can't really see that actually. It's got like pinks and purples and blues and greens in. Uh, this one, I can't remember what I actually got this bit for. I can't remember, but it looks like a sky, see? So I'm sure I'll have something in my stash. Say I got a free piece. 
very reasonably priced these are the 10 inch squares this one i will say is cut is a bit bigger i think look at my ruler 10 yeah it is too a bit bigger but this one and this one i think we're in a sale because she's got a sale a little sale on at the moment so um yeah i would definitely recommend they're nice and soft they're not a stiff ada which is what i i like so that's why i want to get my crow finished so i can start my uh, my reindeer one on my lovely fabric <laughs> right then so that is the noughties now we've got the nicest okay now my lovely friend Katie at work, um, as you know, I've mentioned her a number of times and her friend Gary. Hi, Gary. There you are. <laughs> he did the wood for me uh, for my uh, celebrations. He's such a clever person. He really is. And um, at the moment, obviously, with everything going on, because of his, the trade he's, he's, he's in, um, he hasn't got any work on. So he's got a bit bored. So he's gone into his workshop and, oh, my she came in on Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday with um and said, Look what look what dad's made. And I went, Oh god, look at that. Isn't that brilliant? That is just so cool. I love it. Absolutely love it. And I've got some really, really good ideas, R Katie. So I'm gonna have to get in contact with your dad because I think I might be using him. And giving him some orders for something else I need. I've got in my head if he can, uh, yeah. So I just think that is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely. So what I will say is he has got an Instagram page. Right, okay, yeah. So he is, um, he's on Instagram, is Gary. And his, uh, his name on Instagram is Gary's, Gary's. And I think it's called an underscore, a little line. <laughs> Carvins. I will put it on the screen. I think that might be easier. Okay. So if anyone wants any any of plaques or, you know, anything like this done, it is beautifully. And this has actually all been done by hand. All these. It's not done on a machine. They're all done by hand. And then obviously he's um, he painted it all in. I just think it's amazing. I really, really do. Uh it's beautiful um, but yeah so contact him on um, instagram through the messenger part and uh yeah and, and honestly anything he will try he really and he's as you can see he is one clever person really really clever okay so hopefully someone <laughs> might pop over and get, get him to do some stuff okay and my other nice oh my lovely special friends uh susan and judith hi susan hi judith um they contacted me saying that they were clearing out um some of their yarns and my goodness me they sent me some yarn oh beautiful now there is a lot of it <laughs> um what is the best way for me to do it oh that's all right we'll go this way so there is two balls of the king cole dk shine this the cabaret i've actually crocheted with this when it first came out and it is beautiful so so soft and it is the stylecraft cabaret two of these there's seven of the jager matchmaker four ply merino I'm thinking I'll probably um, either knit or crochet myself a little tea in this. It should be enough. They're under, they are 50 grams in there. I think. Well, I can work something else, add something to it if I have to. Uh, there's, oh, hold on. Oh, there's three of these. <laughs> okay, uh, this one is the Stylecraft Starlight. There's two of these. This is so pretty. Look at that and of oh, these i know the girls glenn's nieces are going to love something in this they really are there's two big balls of this double knitting oh new arrival but look at the colors in that they're going to love it it's very unicorny isn't it <laughs> 
but yeah there's two of those so i'm gonna have to make them something in that and then this one oh it's one of these open there's actually one two three four five six seven eight of this and this is the stylecraft chunky now i love my stylecraft um as you all know and this is the parchment color so it will go with anything and with that amount i am going to be knitting myself a garment in that definitely definitely got enough for that so thank you both so much i have got so many plans <laughs> for what i'm going to do with them and yeah i i just i just can't oh everybody's just so generous <laughs> uh thank you so much so much okay i think i have nearly done i've just got one more thing to say and that is where is she here she is i'm going to do a shout out now <laughs> i have been watching now i've watched this lovely lady um when she was under a different name on um, youtube but um <laughs> she is just so funny the one before last video and she did it in the kitchen there was she kept turning on the, the uh, tumble dryer accidentally with her elbow then the cat decided to knock it <laughs> i was sat in my living room and i was crying with laughter it was so funny this lovely lady you know we have contacted each other and her name is jane and on instagram and um youtube she is mouse knits and crafts now on instagram she's got one of them lines like gary i think it's an underscore i think that's what they call them anyway so it's mouse little bottom line <laughs> knits and crafts but on youtube it's mouse knits and crafts she's got this lovely little dog called rusty and he is so cool he really is and on her last video uh, she took him out for a walk and he was a naughty boy <laughs> he rolled in something he shouldn't have rolled in but her work is lovely she does knitting she does cross stitch she does crochet yeah i'm sure she does crochet and she's um got into some dressmaking and she's made herself a couple of tops and they're lovely um but please you know she's starting doing up in her um her videos i think she's doing them one, uh, once of every other week now but please hop over and uh subscribe she is such a laugh <laughs> she really really is as i say i sit there with my cup of tea and i'm crying away with laughter she's so funny but um so yeah so please hop over and see jane say hi jane <laughs> and it's mouse knits and crafts she's hilarious and oh i don't know if i said she actually she is from scotland um up north but uh oh wow wow so funny right then so i think that's it for today i will add everything you know on the screen and down the bottom where you can find me um i'll do all that when i do my editing and um yeah i think that's about it so as you can hear the old voice is going so i need a drink <laughs> as well as everything else on me but um yeah so i will be back next monday and I'm, I'm say fingers crossed i'll have the bottom the actual body of the breathing space uh, finished so now the weather is getting cooler i am um, um i really can't wait to wear it actually and also oh he's snoring he's he's a bed because he, he went to work last night at 11 and like at night and didn't come in till 10 this morning and so he's gone to bed because he's back up again at three o'clock tomorrow morning to go back into work and uh so yeah, I've ordered a couple of uh, these pair, of, a couple of pairs of tights, and they're so cool. So, <laughs> so they should be here soon. <laughs> so I'll be out to show you my new trendy tights next week as well. <laughs> I know they're not craft, but they're going to go. I'm going to wear them with my craft, like you know, with my jumpers and my dresses and skirts that I've made. <laughs> That's my way of looking at it. Okay, then anyway, I better go. I'm rambling now. So um, I hope. <laughs> everybody have a lovely and safe week um and a lot of crafting so i'll see you next week so take care happy crafting and stay safe bye